The 55-year-old at South Carolina State University is now believed to be the oldest player ever in Division I football. Years old. He is the father of Joe Thomas, who plays for the Green Bay Packers. So this is what he's trying to make it right now. The oldest man ever playing the NCAA college football game is carrying the football. Joe Thomas Sr. Joe Thomas Sr. just picked up three yards on the carry. Number 42. Defensive coordinator Ted Roof. After the four-yard run for Connor, Wojtek will keep it and cut it up the field for a first down. Fumble. To the 36, and he lost the football late. Georgia Tech has the football, but will they rule him down? It was knocked out by Quayshawn Neely, and he was able to recover the football. Ball on Pittsburgh's opening drive takes over at the 25, and there goes James Connor into the open field. We're going to be in for a wild one today. This might be a touchback. And he lost the football shy of the goal line. DJ White from behind knocked it out of bounds. And Bennett having a little Another bit of trouble. trouble. And he loses the football and Neely dives on top of it. In the end zone, it's 21-0. From the 25 screen for Boyd. Trying to find space and solid yardage. And then the ball came out. The ball was never whistled down. And now Isaiah Johnson has it for Georgia Tech. Do you believe what is happening right now? They do not have him on the field. Another and an fumble. issue on the fumble, or on the snap exchange. And Demon Smith jumped on top of it. And does Georgia Tech have the ball again? They do. You see both teams mix up the tempo. Look out. Purdy is... Whoa! So here's the pressure from the field, obviously unaccounted for, untouched, and he is not down, and that is backward, so that forward part doesn't even matter. It didn't hit the ground enough, that is it. Keep going here in the fourth quarter of three scores running their offense, because they know that they're going to have to continue to play great football. And oh, the we lights lost just the went out. The lights just went out on. We're in the lights. <laughs> Go down I, I was for thinking, the Pirates. I was, I was thinking. <laughs> this is like that Super Bowl, Ravens 49ers. Oh, that's right. Practice, he's working with them, but you're exactly right. And trust he has in his staff and the ability to dele delegate responsibilities. But a big key as to why they've had so much success. And hot potato. And Cal's defense can do no wrong tonight. Wide to the left, third and five. Noel throws, complete to Moses Webb over the middle. And then he lost the ball. It's a live ball, and it's recovered by Monmouth. Dropped and picked up by Osukula. And then he lost the ball, and the Pioneers recover. And it's justice for Moses Webb, who dropped it, fumbled, recovered, and scores with less than a minute to go. Touchdown, Sacred Heart. On this particular drive for the Wolfpack, it's even higher. Here's Hockman in trouble, and that'll be a safety, I believe. Rolling on the field, the quarterback threw a backwards pass outside the back of the end zone. The result of the play is a safety. Yep. Well, Bailey Hockman's got to have some awareness. He obviously knows he's going to get tackled in the end zone. And Eight inches, pick up the first down. High snap, Kelly has to collect it, makes a desperation heave into traffic. Treadwell! plays and at the end of the year you're going to look back at what what by the hawkeyes in the season it was a legal kick play recovered by the kicking team on first down it is still northern iowa's ball second down they recovered the football but did not cross the line of scrimmage Auburn kicks the ball, appears to remain behind the line of scrimmage.
gets blocked again. The Hawkeyes did it again. And now there's no time on the clock. Iowa has won it. And now a stoppage as the back judge blows it dead. Fans on both sides not to throw snowballs onto the field. That's dangerous for the players from both teams. Please, no snowballs down on the field. Thank you. Fair enough. Cyrus Mitchell to have some chance of a contested catch. Now here's Schrader buying time, extending the play. He's going to try and run for it. Leaps, gets spun around down to the 20 yard line. Where will they spot the football? It looks like he's short by a yard. But how about the effort by the true freshman? Listen, fourth and 15. Incredible effort. I was going to play with fun and a carefree attitude. And he's done just that. A short kick that gets behind Peterson. That's a live ball. All the way back inside the five, into the end zone. And Wazoo might have it for a touchdown. And they do. Disaster for Arizona. Trask on first and ten. Throws to the sideline. Batted around. Is that an interception in bounds? Receiver, then it hit the defender and was. Wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> the ball three could be in bounds. The ruling on the field stands. First down, LSU. Western next week. Huge opening up the middle for Donnell Kirkwood as a mouth guard went flying. But actually, it wasn't a mouth guard. It was the M, I think, off of Kirkwood's helmet. There goes the M flying off the helmet of Kirkwood. Three wide receivers set. Jones does drop back to pass. Has Warren Newman. And Newman with the score, the layout. And another touchdown for the Tigers. Can we see a little bit more penalty flags out on the Unsportsmanlike conduct. Jackson State mascot for coming onto the field. <laughs> that 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. We will play the clock. So, so the mascot decided, I'm going to get in on this as well. <laughs> hey, hey, get off my guy. The Jackson State mascot got penalized. Harmon will probably try to squib it, and he does. Ball comes loose, and the Bears have to get out of bounds. Rodgers along the sideline, another one. They're still in deep trouble at midfield. They tried to do a couple of... The ball is still loose as they get it to Rodgers. They give it back now to the 30. They're down to the 20. Oh, the band is out on the field. He's going to go into the end zone. He's going to go into the end The Bears! The Bears have won! The Bears have won! Oh my God! The most amazing, sensational, dramatic, heart-rending, exciting, thrilling finish in the history of college football. Ligaments in your knee. What gives you optimism, though, for your future going forward? Uh, just these guys standing behind me the whole time. Uh, that's a really good teammates, and uh, uh, you can see the excitement in the game. Oh, good and able to pull it in. Really, number 30, Karate Walker. Bobbled it out, and then Dwight Jones had no idea where it was. Second and five, Williams loses a football, fumble, it's kicked, and it's inside the 10, and it's still loose, and now near the goal line. going to be on the one-yard one one. line, Razorback ball. Oh, my goodness, Martin finally gets on top of it. Well, we've seen some <laughs> wacky bubbles this year. Kickoff return, man. He's out with a foot and shoulder injury. They don't think it'll be a long timeout. But he's an excellent kickoff return, man. Fuller, a little trickery on the opening kickoff. Here's Chico McClatcher up the near sideline and almost to midfield. I looked up and I said, what is Chico McClatcher doing? He's going to just go flat on the ground and lay on his stomach when this play starts. That's to ensure that he was going to be behind the ball so there would be a legal play. During the kick, unsportsmanlike conduct, receiving team number six laying in the end zone. 
the 15-yard penalty is enforced at the previous spot with a re-kick from the 50-yard line. You cannot take a player and lay him down to decoy like he's not on the field. And he laid down in the end zone to blend in with the end zone so the kicking team couldn't see him. The ref will play it board ready to go. McDonald's throw and almost intercepted. Oh, wait a minute. It's still in play. And it's bounced up and picked off. And that is Milton Bug. And Milton Bug is going to score. Another look. Let's see. This is one of the craziest plays. It's still up. It's still up. It's a pick. Oh. That is a pick right there. Glover will kick it away. And Robinson over on the far side will bring it back from the one. And, and it's thrown right to Tulane for a touchdown. Now it may have been a forward throw by the Black Knights, but taking it in, it was Jatavian Tolls, the wide receiver on special team. Can punch their ticket by winning the SEC championship game. Adams gets it back somehow. Lost the football again, and the tie have recovered. A couple of fakes by Tyree Adams, and then it was going to be a screen off to his right. Batted back into his lap. Has some green ahead of him. It's three of four on this young season. Snap down, kick on the way. Plenty of leg. It is up, and it hit the upright. No good. Let's see if it's roughing or running. Running into the kicker. Against the defense. Five yard penalty, fourth down. Kick against Notre Let's Dame. What can do here. This one from 41 yards, and the kick is on the way. Wow. And how about that? Same result. Are you kidding opposite me? Opposite upright. He had a struggle last week with his kickoffs. Not deep enough. When he returned, that's going to be this week. And an onside kick, but it won't go far enough. No, it didn't go 10. Oh, yeah. wow. Make sure you get it. It's going the other way. Look out. Taking it down the sideline. Line on a goal line stand and had to settle for a field goal. Oh, and a whistle hit the ref for the play. Yeah, that was a that's a mulligan. It's a it's an oops. As the center judge, right off the backside, he's the guy the that went they brought in to, to spot line, the so ball. The defense had an opportunity to match up. The ball is not ready for play. Still second down. This is if they know what's coming out of the Nebraska playbook now. Nice call. Ten, 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 ten. Good ten, 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 ten. That was a smart play. Everybody's stunning to the right side to get in the right lanes. They understand that it's a screen, but I'm telling you, if you're Don Brown, yeah, forward pass, a second the forward pass. for an intentional grounding on the play. Right. The quarterback who threw the ball caught it and was still in the air when he threw it forward. That's, it's that's a legal okay. play, third down. Using Correction. There. The second pass was a forward pass. There were two forward passes yep. thrown during the down. The second pass is illegal. That pass was thrown in the end zone. Result of the play. Yeah. Yeah. That was a safety. I gotta give credit, Scott Alexander. Oh, spinner on that. That's a smart play to catch that out of the 10 yard line there by Keegan Brewer. So, North Texas has come into Fayetteville and shown well, he, no he's signs never made of a fair it. catch. Oh, he did sign. make a fair catch signal. He's gone. Brewer down the sideline. This is gonna be a touchdown. He caught that in the 10. Nobody thought he was gonna do it, and he took off. I agree. I think they, they pulled, pulled an okie doke and Keegan Brewer took it to the house. Okay, everything's good. We'll mm -hmm. just kind of chill and then time to go. Wow. And then we never heard a whistle. No, no need for one. There was no fair catch. There was no tackle. So a 90-yarder. From the 27-yard line, Patterson again breaks into the secondary. Look at this. It's wow. another offensive lineman. Taking it all the way, Look at Junior Lusant, he scores! <laughs> Everybody's All-American with John Goodman getting it from Dennis Quaid. Watch this ball just bounce right to him. Once he gets it, Lucent, look at him run. I mean, these are linebackers. That's a, that's a corner. A.J. Kincaid trying to run him down, and he finally gets him at the five-yard line. Well, they're going to have to clear the field here. Talk about chaos. I'm 
unsportsmanlike conduct by the offense. That penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. With that additional unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, the kickoff will be from the seven and a half yard line. Oh, hey, boys. Squib it. Here comes the lateral. There's one. Intercepted. Texas Tech upsets the number one team in the country. If he doesn't come back, but oh boy, we got the sprinklers going off here on the field. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. As if we didn't get enough rain <laughs> last night. Uh, you know what? What's going on here, boys? It's 2020, Kirk. Okay, okay. okay players are, are jumping around, I guess, as acting like a little kid, and they'll, they'll, they'll stop at nothing to try to slow Clemson's offense down here. Holly back on his 33, and a bad snap. Bradley kicks it out of the end zone. That's a penalty. You can't kick at the ball like that. And Bradley's going to take a safety. Run around, kill some time. More flags are down. And David Bradley steps out of the end zone. They concede the safety. And Iowa wins it by the final of 6-4. to four.